All right, this is a screen recording showing how to use the map tool from Zonum Solutions. And what Zonum Solutions does is it uses the Google Maps API to uh, show a location and um, just layers other tools on top of that. So what we're interested in doing uh, in this instance is we want to find the profile of a river and I'm going to find the profile of the Tees River in the UK. So first thing I'm going to do is just zoom on in to the Tees and find my place. Now you can go to any part of the river that you want. So you could go mouth to source or source to mouth. I'm just going to start near the source of the river and go there. So I'm now zoomed in to the highest zoom point that I can because the river is quite narrow here and I want to make sure that I'm plotting my points on the actual river. So the next thing I do is I go to um, get tools and what I want to do here is I'm actually going to draw a polyline. So I'm going to use the draw polyline tool and I'm just going to begin plotting some points on the river. And as I do that, it is remembering all the points. It's also sampling the latitude, longitude coordinates as well as the elevation coordinates. So I can click off the map and drag to recenter it. And then I can continue down the down the um, river, plotting points as I go. You'll notice that my line actually crosses sort of out of the river channel. It doesn't really matter as long as I'm sampling my points that I plot are in the actual river channel itself. I'm going to continue plotting points and come back to this in a minute. Okay, so I plotted a few points and I'm going to end here in Middleton in Teesdale. Um, you could continue this process all the way down the map if you want. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the options tool at the top. Remember I'm in the draw polyline tool and I've just been plotting my points on the map and now I'm going to click on that options tool and what it's going to do for me is it's going to say create a profile okay so it's telling me that I've got a length of 17,723 meters and I've plotted 70 points so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find elevation in meters distances in meters and I'm going to click on view graph so what this is going to do is it's going to generate the elevation query for me and when it's done generating that query it's going to display for me the profile of the river in this segment. I'll come back when it's done. Okay so it finished that really only took about um, a minute maybe a minute and a half to compute and now it returns this screen to me and I can click on continue and there is my river profile for this section. So what I can do with this is I can right click on it and I can say save image as and I can say river profile keys river source to Middleton in and I can download that and save it onto my computer. Then I've got that um, image. It's going to download a PNG image file of this graph. So I could further then open that in a program like Preview um, and annotate points on it. Some interesting points um, maybe to annotate here or some interesting things in this profile might be looking at some of these points where the river actually goes up and we know that rivers really don't go up unless they go through a lock. 
Um, are there locks here at this point or are there locks here at this point is a question you might want to look at or is that just due to the inaccuracy of how I plotted my points. But um, however it is, you can see uh, the distance here. The other thing that I think might be interesting to do um, is, and you could actually, instead of getting the chart that way, is you could actually go through here and you could go to, um, instead of options create profile, you can go to options export coordinates. Okay, and so you can export the coordinates, including elevations, to a CSV file, and you can include the distances. And so that shows you what that would look like. So it shows you ID, lat, longitude, um, elevation, distance means distance from the first point, and um, elevation in meters, of course, is there too. So you can download this as a CSV file, and once you download that as a CSV file, then you can open that CSV file in Excel, and it shows you um, the data. So it shows you the latitude, longitude, the elevation in meters, and these are distances from the um, starting point. Um, those are as the crow flies distances. Um, so that's a uh, little overview of what you can do with uh, some of these mapping tools.